Mm. Northern Powerhouse Rail, part of the wider Transport for the North organisation, has researched and developed plans for a new railway network in the North, aiming to provide more capacity and ease of transport. So what do the plans include? Well, the poster child of Northern Powerhouse Rail is their plan for a new route between Manchester and Leeds via Bradford, so that the three cities can create a stronger single economy, arguing that the new line would, quote-unquote, avoid the risks of introducing bottlenecks along the corridor. Though it's not entirely clear where this line would be built, the section between Bradford and Leeds would probably run on the Calder Valley line, as plans have already been announced by Bradford Council for its intention to construct a new train station on the St James's Market site at an estimated cost of £500 million, with the plan being supported by Transport for the North, Network Rail, the West Yorkshire Combined Authority and a number of other organisations in the private sector. Northern Powerhouse Rail also proposed a new station at Liverpool and line to Manchester to alleviate capacity on the West Coast mainland and support improvements to journey times, with the added benefit that the capacity released can be used in future for increased service or new routes. On the other side of the Pennines, Northern Powerhouse Rail also wants to use HS2 East to facilitate new, faster, more reliable services between Sheffield and Leeds. Though, in the last few months, there has been a growing scepticism over if HS2 East will even be built. On from this, Northern Powerhouse Rail, to better link Leeds and Sheffield to Hull, want to electrify the routes between Leeds to Hull via Selby and Sheffield to Hull via Goul and Selby, so that cleaner, faster and more reliable service can be provided to encourage more travel by train rather than driving. To the north, Northern Powerhouse Rail also want to upgrade the existing North Allerton, Stockton, Stillington route and reinstate the lean side line for the same reason. Though that's not all, as Northern Powerhouse Rail also have plans on how their improvements should be implemented, if adopted. Firstly, they see it as imperative that all of Northern Powerhouse Rail is managed as a single network, that Transport for the North a new role in the project and that a new body should be created to oversee the delivery of the project. Funding for the project and subsequent green light is entirely dependent on the government and it hasn't been very clear if the government is interested in pursuing Northern Powerhouse Rail, as in the most recent budget it would appear that funding for the project has been pushed back, but we will have to wait and see for the government to release its integrated rail plan which will outline national strategy for rail. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below and thanks for watching.